Am I... dreaming? Yes, of course. This dream is based off your memories. What do you last remember? Were you herding or chopping firewood? Neither of those. I was eating some piping hot stew. Huh. Well, that's strange. How did I fall asleep? Well, there's a lot of things I should be doing. I guess Nick's gonna kick me awake soon. <laughs> you haven't brought up that name in quite a while. But I suppose that's only right, considering where you are on the timeline. For you at this point, everything the IPC does is still in a far-off future. <laughs> what a strange dream. Everything sounds like nonsense. It doesn't matter. It's time for you to come back to reality. How does it feel? Does waking up from a dream bring you misery? Misery? <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> it's a shame you're stuck in a dream. Can't lay eyes on the land I love. It's so gorgeous. And you'd be willing to die. Right there. It's hard to believe someone so young would use that kind of analogy. <sighs> Ain't nothing strange about that. People gotta find ways to soothe their souls. Part of that's coming to terms with life and death. There's a saying from Aragon of Partial. Death is the fairest form of grace. For the good-hearted, death keeps their purity intact. For the cunning scoundrels, death ends things clean and quick. I see. Does that mean you're not afraid of death? If so, please extend your hand out for me. I suppose you're perfectly willing to apply the fairest form of grace to every corner of the universe? In the name of Dr. Primitive, that is. This is my final lesson for you. You shall thoroughly understand his philosophy. And with that, a star will pitifully fizzle out. No problem, teacher. But uh, there's something else I have to tell you. I was worried about missing my shot. But now that I've gotten a hold of you, I reckon I won't. What? How is this possible? The regression should have occurred already. Whew. You want to know something? I was worried I had it all wrong just now. But now, there ain't no problem. Because only an evildoer asks why before he dies. I ain't deaf, alright? Well, you were yapping so loud. Did it ever cross your mind I could tell good from evil? It's as Nick said, revenge needs no excuses. Just like how there's one thing in the world that doesn't need to be taught. Taking a shot at bad guys. How did things take such a turn? You're just a child. Even for someone born with a bad nature, the first time doing something like this should weigh heavily on their conscience. Huh. Is that so? Well, I reckon you got that wrong. Be it a wanted criminal with the blood of many on their hands, or a young cowboy who's never fired a gun. Both share a common instinct in every sense of the word. And that's to put a bullet in anything evil, muddle butcher. On a secret little foot head. Can't go with my single should be. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. You think this is the faulty beacon talk? This is no pure ball. I actually mean it. Wait in line for a Death is the fairest form of grace. Especially for muddle budgers like you. 
will only become worse forms of evil with time. Let's do it! Another journey begins. Destiny for Oblivion. Your answers? Answer me! I weep for the departed. May the foul stench dissipate quickly. There's no reasoning with you, bunch. Those who look good. Those who did look great. I'm asking questions. Allow me to purge the root of the problem. Time to cleanse the chill. The truth burns clear as if everything in this world is bleeding. Oh, you stand still. Bring it on! Free will, or was it... Test. Zero points! S.A.S. Pekibi. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. May the foul stench dissipate quickly! With you punching those who look good, those who did look great. Zero points. The truth burns clear as a flame. Everything in this world is bleeding. I weep for the departed. It did not fall. That's another good thing about dying. Whatever your excuses and ideas are, I ain't gotta waste time listening to them. Oh, uh, am I late? Are you referring to what's finished or what's only just beginning? The one that's about to begin? Oh, oh right. I should go get help. You need to get your head checked, like, right now. Get my head checked. What fork in hell are... Huh? My synesthesia beacon's back to normal. Damn it! <laughs> That's forking amazing. Hot diggity fudge. Uh-huh. So, you're saying everything went back to normal once you smashed this thing to pieces? Uh, I see. No wonder those assistant Annas only want to teach students one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I had a hunch. Sometimes it's just dead simple. Don't gotta be a genius. Follow me, Nameless. No need for reinforcements, seeing as how a few bullets will clear this up. Forking hell. You think you can find a better shot than me and Pentaconi? That's right, fellow members. Everything that's about to happen next isn't the end for us. With Dreamflux Reef as our starting point, a beautiful world shall descend upon all, and he will eventually cast his gaze upon us and the grand cause that we've forged together. Grand? Grand in what way, motherfudger? All right, folks, eyes on me. 
Now listen here. This whole thing's a muddle bunch of skin. Go. Scurry up and hide. There ain't no harm in being foolish. No one is dear clear. You two again. I can forget everything else you've done. But slandering the name of Slumber Nana Monkey before Prof Nana Primon? Do you even know what you're doing? Montana, would you please just hear me out? Save it. You really think you can still convince him? Mr. Ranger, perhaps going back to our origins. Who asked you? I'm only gonna say this once. I ain't interested in hearing your philosophies or sob stories. You're a dastardly evildoer who will cease to exist once a bullet's put into you. <laughs> Guess what? I just so happen to be holding a gun right now. Since everything's turned out to be so simple, there's no need to use too much of my intellect. Catch my drift. See, I'm not here to teach a class, shirt brain. I've come to help. Class is over! <laughs> elongates time, in the same way ramen noodles are stretched. The ninja capital has turned into an abyssal hell under the devastation of evil ninja Osaru. Even the mighty Lan would rather close their eyes to the capital's sorry state and let out a long sigh. The only remaining ninja, Dazzling Ninja, aka Rappa, has trained an entire decade under the tutelage of Master Kucha, to be adept in a wide variety of ninjutsu, gaining also the ability to recite lengthy mantras fluently. But deep down, Master Kucha is aware that it is only when Rappa receives the tutelage of other ninja heroes and embarks upon the paramount way of the ninja as dazzling ninja can she save the entire ninja capital. In the darkest hour of the night, a falling meteor streaks across the sky, marking the graduation of Ninja Initiate Rappa and her new identity as Ninja Hero Rappa. Greetings. Who might you be? My pleasure to make your acquaintance, too. We are ninja heroes who have received the true teachings of the hunt. We come forth to punish evil ninja Osaru. Ninja hero? Huh. It seems that my trial has finally come to an end. Trial? The final trial of the Mako Age. Destroy the Matrix of Osaru's house, and end the catastrophe that has befallen this land. Pray tell, have I proven myself worthy of the title of Ninja Hero? Oh, mighty Eon of the Hunt. What indomitable ninja spirit she has. 
Indeed, one as devoted as you rightfully deserves the title of Ninja Hero. Greetings, Dazzling Ninja. <sighs> Ten arduous years of training finally culminated in this. A new title will be conferred upon me today. I can proudly say that I have never gone against the tenets of Dazzling Ninjutsu all this time. <sighs> How I wish you were here to witness this glory of mine today, Master Kucha. With that, I shall continue my journey to take down the evil ninja. Farewell. Make no haste, since I am now a ninja hero fit to contend with the evil ninja. Would you let me join you in your crusade? No, for your hunt is long complete. This is mine, and mine alone... Low, 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 lone. Cut! I see. This talent would do well in special effect films. <laughs> we have quite some fascinating actors today. One perpetually films before a green screen. Another has been through a change of identities. And... And you, of course. The one with the most potential. Festive superstar from the land of the dreams! Please, let me apologize once more. Yes, it is true that I had a working relationship with Prof Nana, but... I was coerced into it. As a mimetic life form, I inadvertently fell into the hands of my enemies and became infected with a lethal mimetic virus. I see. The spatial ninjutsu that you displayed earlier was truly ingenious. I wouldn't be surprised if you were a memo ninja from the Garden of Zen collection. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, am I right to see your act of betrayal at the Dean's office as a ruse to teleport us to safety here? Perhaps I was just trying to bail myself out of the situation. Bana yourself? Well, this seems to be the answer for everything. Banat gibberish has long infiltrated every cell and organ of our body. Since Penacone's dreams are rooted in the desires of the masses, the mimetic corruption has had an irreversible impact on the dreamscape itself. Slumber Nana Monkey's sweeping craze wasn't the beginning of things. Rather, it heralded the end. From that point onward, the moment of Slumber Nana was fated to be born. But... What differentiates this from other mimetic viruses is the period and extent of its influence. Is that right? I'm impressed. It seems Don Hung is not only a skilled actor, but also has profound knowledge on communication theory. Trends come and go. But every single one of them eventually dies down. Much like how a violent storm quells with time. We may not be able to dampen the increasing popularity of Slumber Nana Monkey, but we can always work to hasten the trend's recession. How do we accomplish this, you ask? We'll have to introduce our lead actor for the night. Yes, it's none other than you, ninja actor. Hmm... The key is in my past, isn't it? Prof. Nana Primon once called you the Doctor's failed creation. I am extremely interested in this. What lies behind your insistence on narrating everything from the intriguing worldview of a ninja? When I made the connection between that and the Banakademics that we've seen earlier, 
I came to the realization that this might be the very reason you're immune to Slumber Nana Monkey's corruption. What Prof. Nana said also hinted at a possibility that links everything else up. That this is but another one of Dr. Primitive's experiments. As for you, Actor Rapper, you were already infected with another memetic virus. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, when used correctly, the venom of a scorpion neutralizes snake venom, just as poison wine may sometimes be used to quench thirst. What you said is right. I once fell into the clutches of Osaru's domain, when sorcery ninjutsu was inflicted upon me. I had to undergo endless tribulations to break the fiendish spells. Only then did I manage to escape. That memory has long become a story I leave behind in my past. Though, if Penakani's future hinges on it... I am willing to bring back that memory and face it once more. Well, well, well. If the memetic entities can overwrite one another, so can memetic viruses. If we can just edit this virus out of our ninja actor's memory, there may be a way to destroy those nasty monkey synesthesia dreamscape. As the third act of a film, this can well be considered as a masterful development to the overall plot. And for the sake of propelling the plot forward, it looks like you'll have to take on a lead role again, actor superstar. Memetic viruses, no matter the type, can be fatal to a memo keeper. But that's not the case for you. As the protagonist, you will surely be able to unveil the truth behind the numerous layers of foreshadowing in this film. Go on, take my film reel and turn her memories into the MacGuffin that will shatter this plot once and for all. Uh, the Benadjiberish in my mind is getting clearer now. I have to move quickly. Actor Superstar? Uh, no, I, I should be calling you Interim Director instead. Please go to the set where Ninja Actor is to begin filming. As for any final advice I can give you, do not go overboard on the number of shots, be skilled in your editing, and don't cross the axis when filming a dialogue. Given how that director does things, we probably can't leave this place if the memetic virus from Rappa's memories isn't extracted via editing. <sighs> Let's proceed with caution. Baseball Bat Ninja, are you ready to dive into my past? Make all necessary preparations for you may be jolted out of sorts when we encounter the bloody, tearful, and ruthless moments in my memory. Pray tell, what does it mean to be a ninja hero? And how does one become a ninja hero? Through talent, lineage, inheritance, or being possessed by the ninja spirit? Nay, none of these. Across the wide expanse of the cosmic ninja realm, those who practice ninjutsu are as prevalent as flying fish row. Yet ninja heroes are as rare as precious golden pufferfish. At this juncture, the legendary scroll of the ninja hero is on the cusp of being unfurled. Do your best to maintain your sanity as you watch dazzling ninja's past unfold before you.
Clutch unlock requested. Insufficient clearance. Please enter password. An enchantment. It won't stop me. This is Rappa's voice. Is this a past version of her? Green. Pio. To. Cha. Break. Password input correct. Live specimen gene editing disabled. Opening hatch. That's all there is to Osaru's seal. <laughs> Even while my senses are dulled by sorcery, I can still see the grotesque sins that are unfolding here. How detestable and deplorable indeed! I am now the self that Rappa remembers in her memories. So, this is the ninja capital? It's completely different from what I imagined. <sighs> that should be the end of my trial. Time to return to Master and resume my training. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Mortals are displayed in transparent aquatic prisons, like they're nothing but specimens as sorcery inflicts torture on them. This is undoubtedly a scene from the Mapo Age of the Dharma. Salutations, Master Kucha. I have deciphered the enchantment. D what? It's not even two system hours. Master Kucha, do I count as a ninja initiate now? <clears throat> um, why, yes. Oh, child, new to the way of the ninja, I recognize your determination. Henceforth. You shall be the successor to my dazzling ninjutsu. Thank you, Master. This is my greatest honor. Behold the city of shadow, a sinful land of suffering, hatred, and sorrow. Bloody tears soon to devour all hope for the morrow. Soulless evil ninja, Osaru, Agent of the vile, cast the masses into sin by foul arts and guile. Fiendlings indulgent in evil gone wild enrage the hearts of all man, woman, and child. Inherit the legacy of the ninja hero and wipe clean the sins of Osaru. End the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital and bring peace back to its people. I will continue to train hard, till the day I become the dazzling ninja that Master speaks of. An admirable resolution. Uh, uh, to contend with the evil ninja, you will also need a new name. A name befitting a ninja. Name? Is... A.K.A. 3, a name? I don't know, my disciple. Your, your name will carry your ideals, your convictions, and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. Hmm. In that case, I choose... Rappa. To have a dedicated heart that will never be disturbed, and to pacify all evil and demonstrate justice. That was Master's initial teachings to me. I wish to use them in my name. As you wish. Nice to meet you, Dazzling Initiate A.K.A. Rapper. You will now embark on an arduous training to become a ninja. Can you keep up? Certainly. Pain is but common to a ninja, and I shall never flinch in the face of it. <laughs> <laughs>